Hey, I've got here today another problem from the MIT Integration B 2013. On my list, I've made it about halfway. I'm on problem 12. So we have the integral from 0 to 441 of pi sine pi square root of x over square root of x. All right. I think what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is we really need to deal with this input to our sine function. We don't really know how to deal with it when we have a pi and a square root in there. What I want to do is make a u substitution. So I'm just going to call my u this whole thing here. So we'll call u equal to pi square root of x. I think it's going to be helpful to have a square root of x value. So we'll just solve for a square root of x and say that's going to be u over pi. And then we can get our x. x is going to be u squared over pi squared. And then I'll just find my, get my derivative. So our dx is going to be, so pi squared is just a constant. So we're going to have 2 u over pi squared du. Okay, so I think we're ready to make this substitution. So we're gonna update our bounds first. 441, plugging in here, square root of 441 is 21. So we're gonna have 21 pi for our upper limit, and then just zero in here is just gonna be zero. Then next we're gonna have pi sine of u. We determine square root of x is just this, so it's gonna be u over square root of pi, but I'll put that in the numerator and write this as pi squared. And then for our dx value, we have it over here. We're going to have 2u over pi squared du. And that's going to give us some nice cancellation, right? Pi squared, pi squared, gone. u, u, gone. Um, and I'll bring a 2 out front. So then let's just integrate this. We're going to have, we have our 2. Integral of sine u is minus cosine of u. We just need to evaluate this from 21 pi or 0 to 21 pi. So evaluating this, we're going to have minus 2 cosine of 21 pi. That's going to be, because that's an odd value, that's the same thing as evaluating at pi. So that's going to be a minus 1 right there for cosine of 21 pi. And we'll have a minus, a minus 2, cosine of 0 is just 1. So we won't, eh, I'll write it. So we'll write a 1 in there. But minus times minus is a plus. Minus times minus here is a plus. All we have left is 2 plus 2. I think even I can do that. Two plus two equals four. That's it, we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.